Well, hello there everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. So, we are just about to take on this next rival fight. I hope I'm prepared enough for it. And there is Ferdin. Hey, Quax, you're off to the Pokemon League. Forget about it. Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? I like how he just asks that and then immediately proceeds to challenge me. So rival Ferdin would like to battle again. So he already- oh my god, level 9? I was not planning on this. You have to be kidding me. I didn't think he had a level 9 already. Okay, my uh... My experience with these video games has been severely underestimated. Oh no, don't miss! Not like this. I'm gonna take the chance. Oh, sweet. Seth actually hit the thing. Good. Look. It's it's been disastrous to begin with, but we will we will go. And Rival Ferdent is about to use Squirtle. Will I change Pokemon? Yes. We will switch to HM Slave here. And what level is your Squirtle, Mr. Level 9 as well. Oh Jesus, yes, I definitely need to heal up. Uh you see, this is what happens when I go into fights unprepared. But he's going to tail whip a HM slave, which, you know, that's fine by me. You, you keep doing that, Mr. Turtle. I'm going to tail whip you back once, because I can't even survive another one. Unless you want to tail whip me again. I mean, you can do that. Okay, we're not so lucky this time. Does he have water gun already? I, I sure hope not. Either way, he has had his defense lowered a bit, so let's start scratching now. No, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me, Mr. Turtle. Okay, this is, um... This is actually scaring me a little bit. How much do you do? You do five. Okay, that that is fine. I don't think he has water gun. Oh, God. I was getting a lot more scared than I needed to be then, if that's the case. Oh! Oh, Jesus. I didn't think it was level 9s already. Okay, well. Seth is already level 10. We are, we are raring to go. So, oh, you just lucked out. Well, I don't know why he's suddenly Australian, but there you go. And I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Don't worry, mate. I'm going to be gone skis. I'm heading straight where we need to go. So, that is literally the only reason we headed up that way, was just to take him on in a fight. And, um, we should probably go heal, considering that, like, everything just got destroyed. And poor little HM Slave is going to be used as a decoy way, way too often. But, you know, it's nice of the game to not force us to have to fight against our weakness instantly. Oh no, stop talking to people like multiple times, me. Whatever, that's all done with. We're, we're all okay now. But we need to head up, I believe. So, what are you looking at? I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. And well, now I've had my coffee and that's what I need to get going. Hmm? What's that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex. Ah, let me get you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. Oh my god, please. I forgot that this is the guy that shows us how to fight. Wild Weedle appeared. And now he's going to give us an in-depth tutorial. You know what? You know what I say to this? I know how to catch a Pokemon. But he did give me a teachy TV for, for talking to him. If there's something you don't understand, watch that, and it will teach you the basics of being a trainer. So most of the other games, or if not all of them, don't even have that little teachy TV. It's kind of a weird addition to, like, this game only, pretty much, but at the same time, you know, kind of cool. But we are heading into Viridian Forest as of right now. So Rattata may be small, but don't underestimate its wicked bite. Have you caught one already? Indeed I have. And are you going into Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. When do I get the running shoes, by the way? Like, I want those running shoes as soon as I can get them. 
I came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get into some fights. Nice suit. I don't mind that at all. Is there an item down here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I just want the running shoes as soon as I can get them. Because the sooner we get those, the sooner we can start like sprinting all over the place. There's a Weedle. I don't really want any bugs either. So we're just going to ember like everything that we come into contact with. And we're super effective against these guys. So it's really good for us. If you take Bulbasaur, the bug the bug things in here are actually pretty annoying. And a Kakuna. It may be your evolution, but it's not going to be any different. He's still going to die. There you go, you're dead. Easy, easy peasy. But we get this item, so this is just another Pokeball that may not have been worth it. And... God, three encounters for one item. Are you kidding me, game? Why do you have to be like this? But there you go. Ember, dead skis. Mr. Weedle is done. And another 29 XP. Not too bad. But I do know the way out of here. Obviously, since I've played it before, it's just... I'm trying to remember where all the items are and whether I actually need them or not. I think there's an item up there, but the way out is like on the far right here. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and I ran out! That's why you can never have too many balls. Never heard such a true quote in my life. You can never have too many balls. But Caterpie level 3 is gonna be dead. Absolutely destroyed. And then Seth gained 22 XP, so close to level 11 already. Another potion for our time and effort walking into that little set of bushes there. And here's going to be our first fight. Hey, you have Pokemon. Come on, let's battle them. So this is our first ever non-rival fight in this game. And uh, it's not really too difficult because it's just going to be a bunch of Weedles. And these are level 6. Like, was I meant to do all of these fights first and then go back to our rival? I have no idea. Either way, it was, it was pretty simple enough as it was. Level 11 on Seth, looking pretty good, and we do not want to change. He has Caterpie. Oh, feels bad. Dead. Everything is ashes. Everything has been demolished, essentially. And no, Caterpie can't hack it. Indeed, your, your poor little bug cannot... Just defeat my fire, fire salamander. Yo, you can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Hey, you don't tell me what to do. I can listen to music and play Pokemon if I want. How dare you bug catch a dog. I'm all, I've already had enough of your crap, mate. Uh, I don't know. When was the last time I actually played one of these old games through? I legit think it was probably like three years ago. Because I normally end up playing them, like, just on my flat Game Boy, and I have, like, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. I have pretty much everything in hard copy anyway. So normally I just end up playing it on there, but... I don't know, I think it's been quite a while since I bothered with Fire Red, so this is going to be a nice change of pace from what I'm used to. I know that what I always used to do as a kid, like, when I was going to school, is I'd come home... And I'd be like, what Pokemon game do I want to play today? And then I'd just start a new file and replay the games like multiple times. And I don't know, I've probably replayed the beginning of like every single main series game at least three times by now. But fun. Fun little games. Although again, the HM mechanic from old games really annoys me. And plus TMs in the new gens can be used unlimited amounts of times. But these ones can't. So TMs are one-time use, which means that they are very difficult to decide who you want to use them on. But for the most part, we can still get through the game quite easily without them. It's just that little bit harder, really. Maybe that's why all the newer games have felt so much easier over the years. Just because, you know, stuff like TMs, HMs, and all of the extra weird stuff is just... There are a lot of ways around it. 
compared to what they used to be. We have Metal Claw, which is very important for the next gym fight as well. That should mean that Seth is going to evolve soon enough, and we'll already have our hands on a Charmeleon. Ugh. Boy, little Salamander boy is definitely gaining the levels. Super duper quick. Oh god, of course the first tile has to be an encounter. I'm sick of you bugs! Can we just one shot with... Scratch? No, we can't. Oh, don't poison me. Oh my god, you have to be joking. Oh no, I don't remember. In this gen, does poison kill? Or does poison still allow you to survive on 1 HP? This is not the time to be having to ask that question, is all I have to say. Did you know that Pokemon evolve? I was just talking about that, Mr. Mr. Charlie. Uh, ugh. God, I should not have even tried to physically attack that stupid bug. I am going to regret it so much. All that we have to do is get out of the forest, and then we'll be at the next Pokemon Center. <sighs> like, why would I even risk it? Every turn we have to sit here and get poisoned, and every second that we walk, pretty much, we get poisoned as well. Stupid bugs, stupid forest, stupid bug catchers. Sick of it all. I've barely even been playing half an hour. I'm already sick of it. This is actually like more real Pokemon than I've ever experienced ever. Right, there we go. 108 XP, level 14 Seth. Feels good. So Charlie is done for. You did indeed lose, mister. Oh, look at all the damage we're taking. Ugh. And more encounters. For a second, it looked like he was shiny. I was like, you have to be kidding me. There is no way. If I managed to run into a shiny, that would be, like, insanely good. You know what? I don't even care. We're gonna see whether we survive or not on 1 HP. Again, I don't think we do. But we'll find out. We'll find out in a sec. Why the rush? I don't know, because my only attacker is violently vomiting on the floor from his poison. Don't know, mate. Could be many things, but I think that may be the main reason. And his level 9 Weedle just gets insta-killed. Yeah, Sammy, I don't have time for this. My, my Salamander is about to get absolutely destroyed. And of course, a final encounter on the final tile, but we are out of Viridian Forest. It took, like, far too long, but we are finally out of the forest. And Seth is, is very close to death. Very close to death indeed. And okay, old man, what do you want? Have you noticed the skinny trees? They can be cut down by cut. And many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. And do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon the way they are. You can take good advantage of that on starters. Seth fainted. Okay, good to know that it does die. So I need to take that into account and I need to stock up on antidote so that that doesn't happen ever again. And now that I let him die, he's going to hate us. Because I don't know if you knew, but Pokemon that end up fainting uh, actually start to dislike you. Like, their friendship meter deplenishes when you let them faint. I keep saying die, but I actually mean faint. So, let's go in here, buy some antidotes. Don't want him hating us. Hi there, how am I going to help? Give me some of these. Oh, we did have an antidote. Whoops. Well, we'll get five of these. We will get six Paralyzed Heals. We will get four Awakenings. And... I'm going to buy an Escape Rope. And do I need a Repel, really? Probably not. 
And we can only afford one burn heal. That's fine. We're about to take on a gym anyway, so... That is all good. That is all good. We do have Metal Claw though, so no need to fret. It is a rock type gym. But, of course, because we have a Steel type move on Charmander, we are completely fine, pretty much. And what do you have to say for yourself, little girl? Clefairy came from the moon! That's what the rumor is! They appeared after Moonstones fell! Well, that was very insightful. Thank you. And this is the gym front guy. Hiya! Do you want to dream big? Do you dare the dream of becoming the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top! Alright, let's get happening! The first Pokemon out in a match is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of Pokemon, you may gain an advantage and try different orders to suit your opponent's party. And then we have Brock. So stop right there, kid! You're 10,000 light years away from facing Brock! You know, mate, I think you need to mind your own business. You legit need to mind your own business, Camper Liam. Like, get your nosy, your nosy nose out of other people's business. I'm not having any of this. Let's see how much we do. So to him, oh god, we like have to three shot. We did get the attack boost, which is nice. But he also got the defense boost. So maybe we can't do this fight yet. Because even though we're super effective, we still only three shot this rock. So, I don't know, Seth, what do you feel? Do you feel like we can do this gym fight? Do you feel like we can't? I feel like it's going to be tough. Like it normally ends up being. He wants to use Sand Shrew. Oh, we can, we can Ember this guy. Because he's a ground type instead of a rock type. So we can actually just Ember him. And he gets two shots. And Defense Curl ain't going to do anything for you, Mr. Mr. Shrew. Oh, there we go. He is dead. Absolutely destructive. So there we go. Seth reached level 15, which is pretty good. And Liam is dead. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. What would you say it then? Like, how does that make any sense whatsoever? But we have Seth, who is, like, on the verge of evolving... And we are just about to take on the gym fight, but look, little Mr. Charmander here has obviously done a lot of work for us so far. And Metal Claw is going to be essential for this next gym battle. But, for now, I am going to leave it there. But thank you for joining me today on this quest. Hope you can join me in the next episode where we take on the gym fight. But until next time, I will see you then.